Hello, in this lesson today, we're going to be talking about the three middle paragraphs that we're going to be needing for our animal informative writing based on the animal research that we did last week. So again, I have our rubric up because this is the best checklist that you can use to make sure that you have all of the information that you are going to need. So our three middle paragraphs. On our rubric under a four, because that's where we want to aim for, it says that I have three detailed paragraphs that were written with an introductory and concluding sentences, which we've learned about in previous weeks, and you can go back to those lessons if you forgot what an introductory and concluding sentence is. And the paragraphs have the required information. And so we're going to learn about what that required information is a little bit later on in our today's lesson. So that is the main parts of what our middle paragraphs should have. Now, our, in our middle paragraphs, somewhere within those, you want to find a spot in between two of your paragraphs to put the diagram that you created. If you haven't created it, you're going to need to create it. So there is a detailed labeled diagram of the animal that is included and placed correctly within the research paper. So if you think about, I have a labeled diagram of my animal. It could be an adult animal, baby animal, or both. It might be a really great idea to have a labeled diagram of both animals that you created. I want you to create it. So that is something that you want to think about. Where could it correctly be placed? And as we're talking about the topics you're going to be writing about for your three middle paragraphs, think about that diagram placement. So we need to make sure we have three paragraphs with introductory and concluding sentences that have the required information and a diagram. So there's a couple things that you're going to need and you have this rubric so that you can go back and check it at any time if needed. The three middle paragraphs, you're going to be getting your information for these from your zoologist notebook. So you've already done the hard work. You've done the research. You know what you need to have about your animal. Now you just need to turn it into an informative writing piece to inform others of what you've learned. So in your notebook, there's three major sections. The first section is your physical appearance and family life. So you were to research what does your animal look like as a baby? How does your animal change as it grows into an adult? And what is your animal's family life like? So physical appearance and family life are the first part it's going to be your first paragraph. And if you'll look here in your lesson under step two, I've listed out the requirements for each paragraph. So paragraph one, you need a topic introductory sentence to introduce your physical appearance and family life. So what you're going to do is you're going to come up with an introductory sentence. Then you have three details that you have to include. You can include more than these three details, but you can't include less than these three. So you need to name and provide a detailed description of your animal as a baby. You need to explain how your animal changes as it grows into an adult and describe your animal's family life. Those three things need to be in your second paragraph, which is paragraph one of your three middle paragraphs. And then you need a concluding sentence. So you need to wrap it up and you could even lead it on to your second paragraph if you'd like, but you need a concluding sentence letting them know that you're done talking about your animal and family life. The second thing that you um, are going to, the second middle paragraph that you're going to write is about the uh, habitat and the diet. So what type of habitat does your animal live in? What does your animal find in its habitat? You know, what does it eat or drink? And how is your animal designed to capture and eat food? So that's going to be your second paragraph of the three middle paragraphs. Again, you need a topic introductory sentence. You need a description of the habitat your animal lives in, what your animal eats and drinks, and a description of how your animal's body is to design to help them eat or capture food. And then again, you need a concluding sentence. So that's paragraph two. Paragraph three is going to be all about predators and protection. So what are some of your animal's enemies? How is your animal's body designed to keep it safe from predators? And what are some behaviors that your animal learned to be safe from harm? And again, I have some of the requirements here for that last paragraph of your three middle paragraphs. 
Again, a topic introductory sentence. You need some of your animal's enemies or challenges, a description of the way your animal's body is designed to keep it safe, and behaviors your animal has learned to protect itself. And then you're going to tie it all up with the concluding sentence. That's going to be the requirement for your three middle paragraphs. Now you have some fun facts that you can add in. And you also have the diagram that you um, need to label color and create a realistic diagram of your animal because you're going to want to put that in your research paper. That is a requirement and it's going to be within these three middle paragraphs would be the best placement for it. If you think there's a better placement, then you're more than welcome to use that, but that's going to be the best placement. So as always, reach out to me if you have any questions and you can go ahead and start writing your three middle paragraphs today.